It is 2024, and what better game to play than a game that came out in 2011? We're playing MK9, and we're seeing if this game actually holds up all these years later. Or was this game overhyped? Let's first talk about the Crypt. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the Crypt back in MK9. It was so simple. You wanted something, you could go to an item on the map, a tombstone, a, a, a little shack, whatever. You pay some coins that you get for free by just playing the game and you open and unlock the item and you can get some skins you can get a fatality you can get concept art you can get all types of stuff but it was so it was so simple back then and that's what i liked you know you want something you want a skin for your character you know exactly how much coins it costs you know exactly where it is on the map and you can just go there and unlock it and you're good to go let's just go with this one uh uh 1140 that, that's pretty expensive right give me that skin baby give me that skin baby Mm. Things were so much easier back then. Now, I'm not going to say that the crypt in MK9 was perfect. Yes, it was simple, and sometimes uh, simple is good. But sometimes being too simple is not a great thing because, yes, you could walk around in the crypt all freely, but you couldn't turn your character, so you couldn't look behind you. You had to walk backwards, which was kind of confusing at some point. So I wish that was a feature that you could do. So, you know, moving around the map was easier, but overall, just a small little nitpick. Again, not breaking the game or anything, but it would have been a nice little quality of life if you could turn the camera, but it was, you looked one direction and you just kept walking left and right, front and back. You can't turn your camera around. So just a slight annoyance on that part. Speaking of annoying, guys, God, I hate those jump scares that Netherrealm loves to throw into their crypts. Uh, getting the- Oh my- Overall, the Crypt in MK9 is still a great mode that they added into the game. We don't have anything like that in MK1, unfortunately, but we could have dreamed for, for something like that. And maybe in MK2, we'll get a, a revamped Crypt mode. But uh, until then, we got invasions. While we're talking about modes, I got to talk about one of my favorite modes in MK9, and that is the Challenge Tower, the 300 level Challenge Tower. Hands down, some of the most fun and frustrating times I've played with MK9. K9 is in the challenge tower. I love that there was a set amount of missions you got to go through. You had to beat 300. You know how close you are to the finish line and each fight that you do out of the 300 challenge tower felt like little mini games and they were just fun. They made 300 missions go by like that because I'm just having so much fun doing these fun wacky missions that nether realm put in the challenge tower. Yes, some of them were challenging, which is why some of the missions were frustrating, but a lot of them were fun. Like you shoot zombies or you try to win a match without getting hit. Like fun little things like that. That was just so enjoyable back then. And to reward your hard work of beating all 300 missions, you got a really sexual slash cool skin for Melina, which not a lot of people can get unless you beat the challenge tower. Unfortunately for me, I never really played Melina, so I didn't get to use that skin, but I saw people use it all the time. And I was like, sick. One of the fellow people that beat the 300 challenge tower. My hats go off to you. Now, sadly, Netherrealm has hasn't really captured that fun and slash frustrating game mode that is a challenge tower in their recent MK games or recent games in general. I think the last time they released a game that had these fun mini games and, and set amount of challenges was Injustice Gods Among Us. I think they had the Star Lab missions, which those were fun. But other than that, we haven't had something like that in a minute. I mean, we got like the living towers, which those are okay, but like they change all the time. So there's never a definitive like finish line you know i wanted an x amount of missions you know and play all of them and get a reward at the end not you keep playing forever and ever and ever all right just give me a set amount of missions and let me just go on my way you know let me just let me just take the wheel maybe in the next mk game we get the 500 challenge tower missions oh my god that'd be so great i would love to do the the series again the road to 300 challenge tower but road to 500 you know make it happen nether realm give us some challenge towers Use cage, low fireball, and then striker uh, gunshots. Yo, this is like MK1! MK1 cameo! Striker cameo! Are you kidding me? Let's go! Of course, with every fighting game, we gotta have the training mode, the practice mode, where you can brush up on your skills. Luckily for me, MK9 just clicked like that. Like, it was riding a bike for me. The characters just felt like natural playing them. It was all the memory coming back. I haven't touched this game in a long time, and I was just doing work. Only downside about the MK9 practice mode, training mode, is you couldn't pin moves, your move sets on the screen, like in the recent 
recent MK games, you can't pin your moves to practice them right off the rip. You had to keep clicking start, go to move list, and then rinse and repeat, which again, I'm not gonna like knock this game down because you couldn't pin moves back then because this game did come out like 13 years ago. Is that correct? 13 years? Holy, 13 years ago? Has it already been 13 years? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, time has flown. For a game that's 13 years old, MK9's gameplay still hits. The gameplay is good. The movement speed is just perfect. It's fast, but not overwhelming. The combos just flow with every character. And the punches? They sound like they hurt. When you have a fighting game, you want the fighters to land hits and make it feel like you're landing hits. Not like they're tickling your opponent. MK9, you feel the punches you feel the kicks i love when the fighting games have moves i love when fighting games have their characters attacks just feel like they're doing damage it feels like your opponent's gonna feel it in the morning and mk9 brings that home so good every hit just mm, feels it like the character attacks hit so hard at the end of the match your character looks like they just got hit by a truck because a round of mortal kombat 9 you are fighting for your life and it shows it with the characters at the end all ripped up and bloody mk9's gameplay to this day still one of the best now mk9 also had a game mode that i thought was pretty awesome back in the day and that was tag team now unfortunately tag team wasn't as popular as their 1v1 mode in mk9 netherum has said it many times that tag team just wasn't played enough which i understand you know it's another game mode people are more used to 1v1s and i don't know i guess that's the big reason why a lot of people didn't play it i had a lot of fun playing it i thought doing combos and calling in your other character to assist with your combos just thought that was an amazing concept and i always thought that tagging in and out your characters and doing the tag combos was so sweet but unfortunately netherrealm has said many times that tag team mode in mk9 wasn't a very popular mode not a lot of people played it so hence why we never got another tag team mode in the recent netherrealm games the closest thing we got was the cameo system in mk1 but they're not the same thing tag team mode i think a very slept on game mode in mk9 i still like it to this day and maybe just maybe we'll get tag team in the future like a full tag team now after practicing and crafting all these combos with the characters i wanted to test my skill and see if i'm the real deal so i went online for mk9 and the servers were not on so i couldn't play online so join room the mortal Kombat servers are not available this time Okay, it lagged for a second. I thought I actually found someone. That would have blown my mind. I don't know if that's just an Xbox thing or just all the servers are down for MK9 across the board. Maybe it's still up for PC, but for Xbox is what I was playing on and the servers weren't up. So I couldn't test my abilities online against real players, but maybe it's a good thing because anyone that fought me online didn't want the heat all right i was bringing the fire now we can't talk about mk and not mention the story mode mortal kombat 9 story i know that mk9 wasn't the starting point of when netherrealm did like really good stories i mean mk versus dc was i think officially their first like story like cinematic kind of thing in my opinion i mean they did it with shaolin monks and other games but the the real jumping point was started with mk versus dc but it really nailed and hit the home run in mk9 mk9 story is hands down Still one of my favorite stories of all time for the MK games. Maybe it's because I just played it and it's fresh in my head and I'm having those honeymoon goggles, but MK9 story still holds up. I can't tell you how many times I play the MK9 story. It's an amazing ride every single time. The writing's hilarious. The character interactions were great. It's just overall a, a phenomenal, a phenomenal story from beginning to end. Love it. You will face one final challenge. Me. Huh. That old geezer's the final challenge? They might as well give me the belt right now. Uh, they do have belts, right? <clears throat> huh? How do <laughs> appearances can be deceiving? So just for today, it might change tomorrow, but today, if you ask me what's your favorite MK story mode, I'm saying MK9. So MK9 in 2024, does this game hold up? Abso-freaking-lutely it does. This game is still one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games to this 
day. This should be the bar for fighting games. Like this game, MK9 had so much jam packed into this disc. And I can say this truly felt like a complete package video game. You got your money's worth. And I wish going forward, more games would release bangers and complete video game experiences like MK9. Will it happen? I don't know. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think MK9 holds up in 2024? Let me know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, drop a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name is Uncaged Games and you just got caged.